there, my name's Damien Burke and I'm here to show you how you can use Edmodo to flip your classroom. The idea of um, flipping your classroom is that rather than giving your students homework after a lesson, what you're wanting them to do is engage in some content before they come to the next class so that when they come to class you can focus on more specific instruction rather than going over some of the basics. In our school, we only see our students maybe five times in a two-week cycle, so you being able to use Edmodo to deliver content to the students in between those lessons is incredibly valuable to us. In my flipped example here, what I've done is that I've created a class and we're going to do some wood turning. It's a practical class and I've got a video for them to watch on how to prepare their timber for turning and then I've included a quiz that they can take. It's very simple and it just guarantees that they've watched the video so that they've in actually taken in some of the content. And I've also asked them here to ask any other questions that they might have. And the social aspect of Edmodo comes into play here because the student can actually help each other out as well as getting some input from me before we get to the next class and if they had another question that wasn't mentioned in the video or wasn't covered in the video they could ask that and I might be able to answer it or I can cover it when we get into the classroom because it's something of a bit, bit more importance. So my class would come in and they would click on the video and this can be used on a computer, it can be used on a mobile device if they log in using mobile web rather than the app they can take the quizzes so my student comes in and he or she plays the video. I'll just let a little bit of this play. So you can see here, this isn't a long video. It only goes for under three minutes. It just covers the basics of getting their timber prepared. Um, and you don't need expensive equipment for doing this part either. I've just used my iPhone on a tripod to make my video and I was able to edit it as well to put little headings and those sort of things in. So the students would watch the video and then they would come through and take the quiz and ask any other questions they had. Now when I come in, I can see that they've done their quiz and I can have a look and see that my two students put the quiz and they answered all of the questions correctly so they got the basics so when we come into class we can really get straight into the instruction or the practical component of our course. How to set up this um, type of lesson is that you can, I just made it a note, it's going to my flipped classroom and my video is stored in my library. If it wasn't in the library you could basically add the file from the computer but I'm going to my library I want to attach it from my library and I come down to my wood turning videos and there's my preparing timber one so I click on that and say attach to post and then I type my note. With my quiz I could either create a quiz based on the content in my video or with regard to this one I've already made a quiz, I load it from a collection, I prepare my preparing timber quiz and I can attach it and then the students can do it. The greatest benefit of using Edmodo for doing this is that the videos can be accessed by the students. In a lot of cases YouTube gets blocked for students in schools, especially junior students. So as long as your video is under 100 megabytes in size then you can upload it directly to Edmodo and then the students can watch it inside the secure environment of Edmodo and inside the secure environment of the school. Uh, it doesn't need to be a video, you might have a PowerPoint that you want them to see. You could voice over a PowerPoint so they don't have to do all the reading, but they can read it or listen to you, and that's one of the things that we've done in our school as well. And it's just one of those things that you can engage the students, and when they come to class, they know what's expected that, they, that you're going to do in that next lesson. You've got them ready to go, and then you can concentrate on more specific classroom instruction when they get there. I hope this has been helpful. Uh, thank you very much.